In order to understand what root canal treatment is about, one has to have an appreciation of the basic anatomy of teeth, of the jaw, and the disease processes that give rise to endodontic infections. If we expose the roots of teeth, then slice these in half, this is what they might look like. The outside of the tooth, above the gum, is covered with a hard, biting layer, the enamel. Beneath the enamel, forming the core and root of the tooth, is another hard, calcified material called dentine. Dentine is a very sensitive material, because running through it are millions of tiny channels that connect to nerve fibres and blood vessels called the pulp. The pulp is contained in a space in the middle of the tooth known as the pulp chamber and continues down through the root or roots of a tooth in the root canals, finally connecting to blood vessels and nerve fibres that run through the jaw. The root canals are actually very complex as can be seen here in a micrograph of the canal system. Tiny tributaries can branch out from the main canals. The teeth are embedded in the bone of the jaw, in an elastic membrane called the periodontal ligament, which allows it some movement. The bone is covered with pink flesh, the gums, or gingivae. Let us follow the progress of pulpal disease through an x-ray. Problems occur inside teeth, affecting the pulp, usually because of decay, a deep hole. But sometimes, though, the damage can be due to a crack or fracture, and occasionally due to trauma. The pulp becomes irritated, possibly giving symptoms of temperature sensitivity. If your dentist is able to repair the problem in time, perhaps a filling or a crown, the pulp can return back to normal. But if the damage is too severe, the pulp starts to die. Sometimes this can be very painful, but occasionally it can occur without any feeling at all. A dead tooth is theoretically a non-painful tooth. It certainly will not react to hot and cold, but it is not the end of your problems. The next stage is infection. Bacteria from the mouth get into the root canals either through the hole or crack if present, or if the tooth is filled, the bacteria can get in through the little channels in the dentine where they are exposed at the edge of the gum. The bacteria work their way into the root canal and start to feed off the dead and dying tissue, multiplying and producing poisons and toxins. These flow down to the end of the tooth and where the bone of the jaw begins, the body needs to protect itself from these poisons and it produces a protective wall around the tooth, which is abscess formation. Not necessarily painful, this can exist beneath a tooth sometimes for years in a delicate balance of bacterial attackers and the body's defense system, usually at a time of stress, illness, being run down, Christmas Eve, or trauma to the tooth from dentistry, this flares up, causing severe pressure, pain, and sometimes swelling.